Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answers to. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answers to. Let me go ahead and play this uh, clip real quick. We we are a very sensitive culture though. Yeah. Oh, you know, I don't know. Oh, wrong one. My bad. So, uh, there he is right there. Get it. I mean, I I I still messing up. Biggest mistake I made was asking asking her specifics. I shouldn't have asked because I didn't want to know. They didn't change anything. You just and, hurt yourself, and it just hurt me, right? So that's why I just like, you know, going through phones, like uh, asking questions. How was it? Was he better than me? Was she this? Was he that? Like, these are things that are just, I mean, put your head down and run. There we go. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answers to. Um, a lot of people ask questions. So let's go ahead and uh, let me go to Humble Dad first on this one. What are your thoughts, sir? Absolutely, man. Like, if you can't handle what it is that they're going to tell you, then you want to let that go. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I'm all for asking questions. I ask a lot of questions uh, in conversation, but I don't ask questions that I, I feel like I don't need to know in order to make my assessment of the individual, right? But if you are an individual that says, um, want to ask a body count, let's say that's like a talking point, then you got to be prepared for the answer. Whether she lying or she telling the truth, you have to deal with that. You know, uh, if, if you want to know about her, her family history and you can't deal with the trauma that she's been in, then you shouldn't ask that question. So definitely don't ask a question you don't want to know the answer to. That doesn't even make sense to me. You ask a question, but you don't want to know the answer. That just that's crazy. You all you ask all the questions you want to know the answers to. That's what I would say. All right, I'm gonna go to Trigger then Trio. Go ahead, Trigger Mike. Guys, listen up. As you get older, the best way to continue to look young, exuberant, and vibrant is to continue to take care of your skin. That's why I'm excited to have T Chanley as a sponsor of today's video. You heard me talk about them before, and you're going to continue to hear me talk about them because I believe in their products and the positive impact that they have on every man's life. Teach Hanley makes taking care of your skin so easy. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing that you don't. Every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. La P family, I must admit, skincare wasn't always something I always focused on, but since I started using this system, I've seen improvements in the way my skin looks and feels. And you don't have to take my word for it. They have over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers from around the world. Mm -hmm. I recommend you start with the level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer, and a PM moisturizer. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Handley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off retail price, the ability to customize your box, pause or cancel at any time, and free U.S. shipping. And because Teach Handley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click that first link in the description and you'll get 30% off the first box plus the free gift. Seriously, that's an amazing deal. Even though it's too early, as I often say, it's never too late. Click that link and get started today. Uh, yeah, as I just said, it, on, for some stuff, ignorance is bliss. Um, but as opposed to men asking women questions they don't want the answers to, I believe that is a lot um, like a man behaving like a woman. Like women are overly inquisitive. Women are overly nosy, right? Because they want to know things. And then when we watch how they behave, once they have that information, it causes a bunch of anxiety, worry, over questioning and then they want more information out of the situation after that right so i would i would definitely be careful as a man and be vigilant about asking questions you don't want the answer to and especially because men we tend to suffer in silence so we're, we're, we're asking to basically corrupt ourselves from the inside out you're not going to do anything about the information you can't really so you're just going to suffer with it uh, after the fact. So, you know, uh, you got to definitely protect yourself if it's not anything you can readily change. And we don't live in the past. We do only make plans and try to affect the future. So there's no point in, in a man living in the past in that way. I believe that's kind of exhibiting female behavior. All right. Trail Dan King. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but I'm gonna disagree with the fellas on that one. I think, um, you know, it's a lot of things that, that we may not want to know the answer to, but you need to. 
and it can save you time. So, you know, ignorance is bliss, but let's say that the that the information stumbles out the closet six years and three kids later down the line. And now that's gonna mess up your whole perception and mess your marriage up. You looking at her different. You don't respect now the kids gotta suffer for this one. You could have asked that question way earlier, got your answer before all the attachments came into it and made it and, and made another play. So, you know, again, it's you know, it's certain things, you know, again that that's just hard to hear. Um, but stupid questions like body counts and was he better in, in bed than me? I, I definitely agree with that one. I think, you know, you should stay away from questions you don't have a self-esteem to handle, for sure. And most men, <laughs> we, can call, we can call women the emotionally fragile all we want, but a lot of these niggas, <laughs> if she give you that wrong answer, it's going to crush your little ego or your little masculinity or a little alpha mindset. That you got, so I would, I would, you know, advise be careful with asking questions you don't have a self esteem to handle. But shit that 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 we don't want to know, you know, again, depending on the importance, you may need to know. So that's my answer to that. All right, go ahead, King. And then we'll go to uh, B Man. Yeah, I agree uh, completely with what everybody else has said. I'm I'm the type I ask a lot of questions. I always have been. I always will. I know that if I'm asking something, I want to know the answer. And I know the answer might be something crazy. And I prepare myself ahead of time for that. But especially in the stages where we're still getting to know each other and we're still building that rapport and I'm still learning more about you. Yeah, I'm going to ask whatever I feel like asking. Already understanding that the response may not be what I would prefer. You know what I mean? But I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I think especially when you're in a relationship, you need to be able to have difficult conversations and be able to, you know, to ask certain things. So I definitely um, don't have an issue with it. I think it's strange when people ask questions, they know the answer might be something wild, and then they still get upset about it. When you were the one that kind of started the entire motion of this interaction, you know what I mean? Like, I think those types of things is crazy. But overall, yeah, ask what you want. Just be ready for the answer. All right, be mad, let go there, Shan. Uh, for the most part, um, I just want to copy and paste uh, Trill's answer because I agree with him a thousand percent. Um, you know, for me, I want to know as much information as possible up front and early um, so I can make an educated decision on what I want to do. Um, I'm not going to ask anything I don't want to know. And that's just what it is. Um, but nine times out of ten, I'm going to want to know it and I'm going to be able to handle whatever it is that I need to know to make the decision that I need to make. And that's that's what's going to be best for me at the end of the day. Um, there might be some shit I may not want to hear. And sometimes there might be some shit that might surprise me, you know, um, that I might make some assumptions on. So, um, yeah, i like to know as much information as possible up front. Yeah, I think you at least got to have two or three questions or something like that. You got to find out something. Yeah. You gotta know who you, you gotta know who you're dealing with, man. You gotta know who you're dealing with in, in their entirety. Because if you try to take this thing real serious, man, I mean, there's no point of, of like, 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 let go. Said, you know, living in a Disney fantasy. You know, what I'm saying, like, rip the bandaid off. You know, what I'm saying, I, I'm, you know, I'm open for all that. I'm, I'm not here to, to, to play games. It is what it is. You know, call a spade a spade. Yeah, I think people gotta understand too is that uh, woman won't tell you that shit. So. Mm -hmm. But I'm built like that, though. I'm made that way. You know what I'm saying? Not, 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 I'm sure a lot of other guys, everybody else on here is too, but that's just how I am. So I just want to know. And if I know, then I'm cool. I'm cool. Either I like it or I don't. Shit. All right, go ahead, Lego. It's a, it's, it, it has to do with context. If I'm with a woman and we're together, uh, one, if she cheats, I'm not going to be like, how was it? And what? I'm, I'm out. So that's one thing that that guy right there. Hey, it is what it is. I ain't trying to know nothing because I ain't trying to be around you no more. No. Nope. So that's the first thing. But from a contextual standpoint, I do want to get information so I can know what type of woman you are. Yeah. If something happened before I was there, like, for example, say you dating a woman and then you say, so when was the last time you was in a committed relationship? And she says four years ago. Well, that's a red flag because you you know somebody been smashing her in those last four years. So that means so that means 
you're okay with having casual sex because you've been having sex. So I'm not going to wipe you up. I want to have casual sex just like them other dudes would have casual sex. What? You know how, many, how much sex a woman be having in, in four years? You think I'm going to come in and wipe you up? No, I want the same thing the other men are having. You know, oh, so yeah. when it comes to information, you you automatically are out of wife category. I want to have casual sex just like the other guys having casual sex. So that right there would help me make a good decision on what 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 um box I can put this woman in. And I'm not saying she's a hoe. I'm just saying she's okay with casual sex because either nobody wants you for four years. Or two, you just getting smashed by exes or whoever, and you okay with that. I ain't gonna be with you because no, I, I want to smash just like they smash. Can I ask yeah. you a real quick question then, Mr. Lego? What's what's the um the time frame that you would say, oh, okay, you was in a, a relationship a year? Like what's the time frame that you talking? Uh, I would say a year ago, because women want to be in relationships, most of them. So if they want to be in relationships and they can't attract a relationship, see, women can attract a man, but some women can't attract a relationship. So if I'm dating a woman that is unable or unable to attract a man to want to be with her, I don't want to be with her either. But let go. You also want to have enough time too. That's why you said a year to where they can get over whoever they've been dealing with too. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. I think that's important to point out too is that like there's enough time and space that she ain't thinking about him. He ain't on the brain too heavy. And you know, they're going to spin the block a little bit too. So if it's been a year <laughs> since they broke up, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it real. We're keeping it with the yeah, players, no, you're real. right. You're right. If, if she probably spent the block for another couple more months after yeah. they broke up any mm -hmm. damn way, you know. So yeah. it's just, it is what it is. But four, five she years, she nah, can run long. Long. She, everybody. She, 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 she for the streets. Facts. Hey, that's facts. Uh, just my strategy for when I went looking for a wife, ser serial monogamous only, <laughs> right? Boyfriend number one, number two, me. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like that—that that was the only way I could swear by a woman's like style of behavior for what I determined to be wife material. For anybody who cares, for such a fact. Hey, hey Shane, you got anything? Ella, did you go on this yet? No, I, I ain't go. Um, okay. but um, yeah, if y'all want to add something to it, let me know. I, I agree with everybody, you know what I'm saying? It's like you need to have a line of questioning that's conducive for what you want to know about it, you know what I'm saying? Somebody else's questions might not be relevant to your questions, like body, certain, certain questions like body count. It's like I don't, I wouldn't ask that because even if she told you the truth, do you really know? Like things that you really can't verify is like to me it's irrelevant to ask, but you might want to ask, you know, what does she believe? Um, What's her political affiliation? Um, did she go to school? Did she not go to school? What's, what's her relationship like with her parents? I feel like some questions are just, you know, all across the board. You should want to know just for a basic understanding of where her mind is at. But certain questions is just like, it's really just irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? But I think everybody pretty much nailed it. Like, you know, just ask what you're prepared to handle. Go ahead, Shan. Hey, hey, Ricky, did you go yet? Okay. All right, Shan and Ricky. Go ahead, Shan. You don't mute, Shan, just so you know. There is no question. There is nothing that I can't handle. There's, there is no, there's oh, no, there's no, there's no, there's no question. There's no aspect of humanity that uh, there's no aspect of a woman that I, there's no question that I can't handle. Right. So we could just eliminate that part. Like, you know, like the whole don't ask something that you don't, that you can't, that, that, that doesn't apply to me. Right. Um, in fact, I've been known as Mr. Uh, no such thing as TMI because the, the too much information. I, I, I'm, my whole life is an open book. I'll answer any question asked of me with my whole chest. And I'll, and there's nothing that I can ask that's going to fucking freak me out, especially in the beginning. And here's the thing that I believe. I don't think there's a question that any man can't handle. If you get asked, if, 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 it, if it's disclosed early enough, the problem happens, like Trill said, six years later after the kids is here, the baby's here, and then you find out that she was a, a fucking on Pornhub, then, it's, then that's where the problem is. But if you knew she was on Pornhub on the second date, 
you wouldn't have those children. So I don't think that there's any question that any man can't handle if you get the question early enough. It's later on that it becomes problematic. And that's why I'm an FBI agent when it comes to investigating a woman. I hear Trigger Mike. He said, you know, that's a little feminine energy, you know, asking all these questions. Man, I'm asking everything. I want to know everything. There's nothing taboo. And I'm at, I want to know there's nothing that I don't want to know. And I want to know it as soon as possible because I got a lot to lose. And I don't want to get caught up with somebody because I didn't ask that. That wasn't important to me just to find out later that I didn't went to some event or the homie didn't came and told me something or I didn't just un, 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 un fucking covered some shit that I'd had no idea. I don't know. Nah, I want to know all of that in the beginning. Give me a full dossier on her. <laughs> So I know exactly what the fuck I'm getting into before I give the keys to the kingdom or I can turn my back and know that somebody's going to catch me. So I'm asking all the questions. I'm talking about straight up detective work and there's nothing that's going to trigger me because I don't know you well enough for it to trigger me anyway. So I see what you're saying. Uh, let me just uh, add this in there. So Mr. Let Go was right. This is probably the last time I'm going to say that tonight. But the context matters. Yeah, so I'm thinking... We on, uh, you know, asking her if was the other dude better and all that. That's the context I'm talking about. The context of if she was on Cornhub, absolutely, I need to know that. Because you're right. If that happens to escape, you know, years into the marriage, that's a huge problem and red flag for me. Yeah, you want to sit up here and know, you know, if you, you dating her, think about marrying her, this and that. You know, you want you want to find out some things. Go to her, uh, yeah. go to her college homecoming. No, yeah. so you're, I'm you're, actually you're, you're, in the you're, you're, you'll see a whole lot. You'll see a whole lot. I was gonna say I'm, go I'm actually uh, more homecoming. traditional. So I'm the type that meet the family early. If we declare intentions, it's month by month too. Where mama at? Where daddy at? So I definitely understand. Yeah. No, no, I got you. What I'm saying is, is like you know, go to her homecoming. Like yeah. from university oh, yeah. and all that. So you know what kind of chick you're dealing with, what kind of chick you're marrying, whether you can handle that or not. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm in the fret. So I'm over here like, you know, oh, how are y'all? How are y'all know Stacy? How y'all know Stacy? You know, they're like, Stacy. Oh, <laughs> we, we know Stacy. Oh, yeah, no, no, yeah. We know Stacy all right. Nah, you know, you know it's, it's usually yeah. not even that four. It's yeah. more like. It's never uh, like. Yeah. It, it nah, it's more nah. like oh like it's it's that drag like well yeah 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 I mean how you, you know y'all <laughs> I mean y'all like together, I, together I mean how close are y'all <laughs> yeah for sure when, but when not when when that starts coming or you can sell the reaction you know oh shit you already oh, know shit. yeah yeah you yeah, already know. know so yeah you know uh Shannon up there might be bald headed but he ain't nothing like Mario Wines you know he want to know. He want to know. I want the answer, Sway. I want the answer. <laughs> I want to know. I want the answer Man, to right. the test. I tell people, and, all the time, and I suggest make... men ask all the questions. I suggest men. You know, I get it, sure. but I suggest that men dig and find out as much information and ask the shit. Be weird. You know. Oh, that's too soon. Fuck that. What do you mean it's too soon? I don't want to spend another dime on you. If you're not, if you're not, if, if, if the stars ain't aligned, I don't want to spend another minute on FaceTime with you. If no, fuck that everything. And you can ask me anything. Go question and answer period. This is your chance. Be ready. Cause if you don't like what you're about to hear, we can cut it soon and you can go your separate. I, I wish I had hit that, but just, it's cool. I might swing. I might catch. I'll, I'll swing the block, but I do want those out right here too. I do want to throw this out here too. Yeah, yeah. But I want to throw this out here for the for the ladies that are watching. I want to throw this out here too. Like it doesn't mean that the judgment isn't as high as it seems. Just to make it clear, the judgment isn't sky high. I mean, everybody had a life. No, everybody, no, no, no. Everybody had a life. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has lived. You know what I'm saying? So you over here like, yeah, you know, I had a hot girl summer last summer. It's like, okay, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I was in a four-year relationship. You, I broke up. You, I had a hot girl yeah. summer. You go, all right, uh, okay, all right, whatever. I don't want to know that you, you had you a hot girl summer. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, hey, but I can, I can handle the truth. No, I want to know. I can handle the truth. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we're human. 
We are human. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to sit and tell you I've been an angel. I'm not going like, to lie. Did you say you don't want to know that she had a hot girl summer? Who said oh, no, I do. Don't want to know. I don't want to know. You don't want to know. If she used the term hot girl summer, she put that, That's not what he said. What he that's said it. was the judgment wouldn't be high. And I, right. I say that's a lie. Yeah, I, I, think that, I don't think, think that's right. You, you, you think it's cow? Yeah, I think it's. I don't think. I think. I think. Definitely, judge. You I'm saying, dating these modern women now because I'm. I'm because I'm single, oh, never been oh, married, that's never been that's divorced. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, but and however, my guy, once she tell you the truth and it don't wind up with what you looking for, you gonna put her in a different category. Yeah, if it's not look, if it's not adding up for what I'm looking for, yes, right. I agree. Exactly. I so, agree. Yes, so the it, minute matters. Mental, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Let me say my part because y'all keep talking and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> Go ahead, Rick. Y'all know my rule. If y'all been here, we got to get past the the silent knowns, right? Ask the questions early, y'all. Most valuable mm-hmm. asset is time. It's time. Ask the tough questions early. And this is what I mean. If you hit if you hit a, a, a woman with a question, you know, especially if you know the answer to. Right. Or you have a hint and you hit her with some truth and she come back with some crazy stuff. You already know she on BS. You already know if I hit you with truth and you come with some oh um, well, or some old goalpost moving. Psh, Facts. Psh, it's whatever. Mm-hmm. Tell the truth. You know it's the truth, right? So again, ask those questions early, man. Like I said, but you know, y'all, y'all be wanting that butt. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be chasing them, them the thick thighs and them lies. You know, that's Illa. I'm that's Illa. <laughs> he like, I don't want to know. Nah, me, baby. Hell oh, yeah, yeah, man. Lies. No, yeah. Bro, I get it. I spe- it. Yeah. I, I, and I'm gonna be honest. This is me. This is me, right? I think this is more relevant for women than men, to be honest. <laughs> Because that's for be sure, that's for be sure, honest, fellas. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, yeah, like I just what? Oh, I'm not gonna judge you. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna judge you like that, but you could be number six on the roster. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> right? But if a lady's out here and she's being intentional, right? But I guess, I guess it's both sides. I retort, I retort, right? Because if a man's being intentional and a woman's being intentional, you want to get, especially like if you ain't 20, you 30, 35, you know what I'm saying? You, you up there, bro. You know time ain't on your side. You know what I'm saying? We we all get closer to death every day. Facts, right? So if you out here and intentional, you want to get that stuff out the way in the beginning. Not only so you know, so that if it comes up and you find out it's a lie, you got it in your mental Rolodex. For sure. Facts. You should always be fact checking. Check the car facts. I yeah. think you could assume these days, though, a lot of chicks, you know, they body count probably high. So I don't even, some, I don't want to know. I'm, I just bro, assume you already, you've been doing it, the thing already anyway. That's fine. That's, that's, that's so why I'm crazy, like, bro. And, so true, I don't bro. want nobody to be able to come to me and tell me some stuff that I don't already know. That we ain't already talked right. about, we ain't already settled or had a conversation about. That's my biggest thing. Don't have me look crazy. But you Brandon, how, crazy? Do you, how does your girl come to you uh-huh. and be like, I was outside in college? I know we about to go to my homecoming. I've asked, I've, I've had something to say that. And so how did the conversation go? Oh no! So it, it, again, it's stuff that I really handle like early on. Like I get an okay. idea of how I how I met them, mm-hmm. and what circumstance I met them. I understand like the type of friends that they have. I understand how she moves around. I understand how she parties. I understand all these things, all these aspects. Okay. And then I start, I start asking little questions here and there. I, I'll just. I'll just throw it out there. It could be unsuspecting. It could be we could be chilling. It's like, man, what well, you know, you know what, what happened? We what happened your freshman year? Were you, you just out there? Were you all, you know, I'm new to school. I'm real nervous. Or like, hey, I was having okay. fun. You know, what I'm saying I'm just trying to. You, you got you got to do that because yeah. you know you're, you're you're building a level of trust. So if I'm gonna leave her off, okay, you have wild ass.